Hi, I'm Chris Nicholson with National Parks at Night, and I'm here to give you 10 photo scouting tips for national parks. Tip number one, embrace scouting. You can just go into a national park, someplace you've never been before, and get excited about all the new things you're seeing. But I can almost guarantee you, if you do some research ahead of time, and you know what you're getting yourself into, you're gonna do better work. Tip number two, take notes on a printed map. Go to the National Park website, download a PDF, it's free, and it's public domain, so you can bring it to a Staples or any office supply shop and print out a nice big copy. Then as you're doing your research, write down everything you want to do, circle the spots, take notes about light, and anything else you think is important. Tip number three, see if somebody's written a book about the park you want to shoot. A lot of the parks, Zion, Acadia, Yellowstone, Grand Teton, some photographer has been there a lot and has written a book about it. Find that book, buy it, and read it. Tip number four, Google Earth is a great tool for scouting a national park right from your desk at home. You can see satellite views of the terrain, you can use Google Street View to virtually drive around the park, and you can preview what the light's gonna look like any time of day, any time of night, any day of the year. Tip number five, Photographer's Ephemeris is a great app that you can use on your phone or your iPad or any device and it will tell you exactly where the sun is going to rise and set, where the moon is going to rise and set, from any spot that you're standing. Tip number six, Tidegraph Pro is an app that will tell you the times of the high and the low tides when you're in a coastal park. This is important information when you're scouting a location because the sea level can make a dramatic difference in how a scene looks. Also, it can be key to safety, such as an Olympic National Park when you might not be able to get around a point at high tide. Tip number seven, Use an app to tell you what's in the sky above you. I use Skyview, which among other things can help you find the North Star if you want to shoot star trails. Tip number eight, check out hiking forums online. They're not photographers, but they're looking for the same thing we are, cool places to visit off the beaten path. Tip number nine, talk to the rangers. They're there to help and they're happy to help. For example, in Death Valley National Park, a ranger told me how to get into the spot of the sand dunes where there wouldn't be a lot of footprints ruining my photos. And another time, in Grand Teton National Park, I found a great spot for shooting reflections of the mountains from a ranger I talked to at the visitor center. Tip number 10. Might sound crazy, but talk to other photographers. There's a ton of us in the parks, and generally we're very happy to help. There's been a lot of times that I've shared information with other photographers I've come across, and plenty of times they've helped me too. And finally, here's a bonus tip to bring all of this together. What do you do with all that information? Use it to make a list. A list of places and things to shoot at different times of day, in different types of weather, and in different types of light. This way, you'll have a plan that'll make you feel confident and will put you in the best frame of mind to do your best work. If you like this, check out our blog. We have articles about the national parks and a lot of tips about photographing at night. And for the ultimate experience, come join us in one of our workshops. More information at nationalparksatnight.com.